Welcome, Tiger fans, to this Tuesday night by district matchup between the Dripping Springs Tigers and between the Cedar Park, I don't even know what the Cedar Park is, Cedar Park Timberwolves. I'm Paige Frontera, and I'm here with the wonderful Jason Certain. And we're here to broadcast audio only of this lovely by district match. Thank you very much to Flow Sports uh, for coming out here tonight. Um, Marble Falls, a neutral site tonight. Did you say that? Uh, I did not say neutral site. I, I, I don't know how neutral this is. 40 miles for them and 50 for us. Really? So that's, that's good. I'm glad you looked at that. So it's not quite the Red River rivalry as far as distance, but. Central Texas. Yeah. They take a shot down 1431, and we, come right up to and we came up 281. Yep, sounds good. Everybody hits traffic. <laughs> Everybody hits traffic. Welcome to Austin area. So Dripping Springs has not played Cedar Park until. <sighs> sorry, I've got I've got people coming in here behind me. So Dripping Springs has not played Cedar Park uh, except for in preseason, right? A scrimmage. Um, no score. No score. Uh, they played for 50 minutes. Uh, they were allowed to take two timeouts each. Um, and we haven't seen them since then. They did finish third in their district. So the way these by um, district matchups work is that the first place team in district plays a fourth place team. Second place team third. takes a third place team. And then 4-1 again. Four, again. So uh, Cedar Park had to play Liberty Hill on playoff. Friday night in a playoff for second place. And Cedar Park lost. Did they lose in three? They lost in three. Yep. Lost in three. Yes. So enjoy that. And Canyon in both districts. Yep. Canyon beat their fourth place team, Leander, last night in three. Yes, they did. And then who's playing Tyvee? Rouse. Rouse. Rouse is going to play Tyvee. Yep. So <coughs> both of these districts, both of these by district matches are, um, can't take anything for granted. Um, all four of these teams in both districts, eight teams total, they're good teams. Uh, they're good teams. They have good strengths, good weaknesses. Um, and then we go, whoever wins this, it actually, the road gets a little easier. Yep. So in Dripping Springs tonight, we have 21 Tigers suited out. Uh, we have a bench of four managers. We have our trainer here. We have four coaches. Parents. Love the cheerleaders. <laughs> yep, we got fat heads. Um, so that's really kind of cool. Get her fat head. I know.
Nailed it. And that was Abby Wingren, senior from Dripping Springs, serenading us for the national anthem. And it's go time, Jason Certain. Right. What are your thoughts? What are you thinking? My heart's beating a little bit. You'll I know. It was great. This kind of atmosphere is what's great about high school sports. You don't get this in club. Probably got about 300 people here. Yeah, we have definitely represented. We've made that 50-mile trip down 290 to 281. Dripping Springs comes in the favorite. Maybe a little, little extra um, weight on their shoulders are expected to win this. I They've think so. Built this reputation. They go to regional yep. finals almost every year. And Cedar Park's looking to play upset tonight. So on the court for the Tigers tonight, we have on the by position we have Ryan Frontera starting at center. We have Ava Williamson starting at right side. We have Natalie Arnold will start at middle. Our second middle will be Maddie Lund. And then we have our outside hitters in Carly Sledge and Mackenzie Plante. And in just a moment they'll do lineup checks. And then our libero wearing gold, Taylor Tomlin will come in. And our Tigers are wearing maroon with Tiger Pride gold on their sleeves, gold numbers, gold collars. Starting for Cedar Park, we have number 16, Olivia Mayab. Number two, Kate Alex. Number eight, Lainey Roberts. Number one, Dylan Gilkey. Number six, Harris Clifton. And number 14, Mia Cummings. And the libero for Cedar Park is is Callie. <laughs> Freshman Callie Kruger starting with Freshman Callie Kruger. And here we have the start of our serve. Ryan Frontera back to serve. The down ref is the enormous person, big football player, and it's going to be hard to see. This ball player. is in system. It'll be going to the right side, but it's very tight. 
It's dug up by Cedar Park. It's going to go back row. Row shot. Taylor Chomlin cannot handle that ball. Point Cedar Park. Point Timberwolves. Subs coming. Number 13 will be entering the match for number 16. Cedar Park back to serve. 13, Kamora Carter in the serve. It's really hard to see. Yep. This ball is handled out of system. Ryan Frontera is going to go outside to Carly Sledge, who is blocked. That's point number two for the Timberwolves. And there's a net violation. There is a net violation on Cedar Park Timberwolves. So that is 1-1. One, one. This is a very loud gym. <laughs> Can't see. Great atmosphere. Carly Sledge back to serve. This ball is handled in system. It's going to go to the outside. It's going to hit the pin on the swing. Point Tigers. Tigers take the lead two to one. So that net violation was a big, a yep. big momentum swing. Point swing, if not more. Carly Sledge continuing to serve. I think Cedar Park's going to have to run a faster offense. This ball is handled out of system. Callie Kruger is going to have to bump it up. This ball is tipped. This ball kind of came off the hands of the block, and Ryan Frontera just got out of system. Basically, unlucky play. Number she four has checked in for the match for Cedar Park. Two two. I can't hear. I can't hear Jason very well. Two to two. Cedar very Park back to, to serve. This ball is handled in system. It's going to go a shoot set. This ball is going to hand right in the back corner. The coffin corner, as Chuck would call it. That is one of Mackenzie Ponte's shots that a lot of outsides don't have. She didn't crush the ball. She didn't tip it. That deep corner. Placement, placement, placement. Natalie Arnold back to serve. We've got a new middle in and Maddie Lund. This ball is going to go barely out of bounds in that corner. Maybe pumped up a little bit. Little and flowing. And the score is three to three. Cedar Park back to serve. This ball is handled by Mackenzie Plante. It's going to go back to Ava Williamson, who's going to swing out of bounds. No touch. No touch over the block, but too far. Four three Timberwolves. This ball is out of system. We're going to have to bump this up to Mackenzie Plante. This ball is going to be handled easily off the hands of the defensive player. It's 4-4 with subs coming. So checking into the match right now is Ryan Allison and Annabelle Crowder. Ryan Allison, lefty, back to serve for the Tigers. One of the keys to the match is how well Ryan plays. This ball is in system. It's going to go out to the pin. It's going to go off the hands of the block and down. Point Timberwolves. Subs coming in number 16. Timberwolves are all over every point. Crowd is super loud. Recognizing they're the underdogs and probably hanging on every point right there. This ball is going to be handled. I can't see. Annabelle Crowder. Touch off the block. No touch. Point Timberwolves. We've yet to see our middles. Not many passes allowing us to execute that. Well, and I did notice that Cedar Park in the stats is a very good serving team. So we're going to have to make some really good passes right here. This ball is one over the net. Again over the net. Off her shoulder. There is complete and total confusion on the side of the Tigers. And Michael Kane will take a timeout at 7 to 4. Yeah, absolutely. You just have to, you know, it's not a, it's not a complicated game, right? So pass, set, hit. Um, we had two opportunities to come back from that play on an overset pass, uh, and could not do that. So, you know, what are you saying if you're, if you're Michael Kane right now? What are you saying in that timeout? I'm saying settle down. Let's remember what got us here. Simple plays, and let's just make the simple play. Keep yep. the ball in bounds. They've had hitting errors. They've had one legit kill. The tip was a kind of a off the block onto the floor. 
unlucky bounce for us. Right. So we've had two hitting errors and we've had a serving error. Yep. So there's a difference in the score. Yep. Cedar Park back to serve after the timeout. That ball is going out of bounds. It hits Taylor Tomlin on the way out of bounds. You don't see that very often, but when you do, you just now, make sure how that Well, happens. and she's, she seems rattled. Yep. Michael Kane is trying to figure out what's going on. 8-4 Timberwolves. Off the block. This is going to be bump set up. Annabelle Crowder is going to roll it. This is just going to be swung down. That's going to be a point for the Tigers. Carly Sledge coming back into the match. Mackenzie Plante back to serve. See if Mackenzie can't settle this down. Yep. Well, Michael Kane's talking to Taylor and just being like, you know, a keep it simple. Match. Keep yep. it simple. A long match. This ball is handled out of system. We're going to have to go to the right side. To touch off the block. Ryan easy. Allison is going to have to go to the middle. It's going to be handled. It's going to have to be a free ball. Let's hope. That ball's out of bounds. Ball out of bounds. Now they're making mistakes. So six to eight now. So it's better. That's two quick points for us. Mackenzie Plante back to serve. It's a short serve. Yeah, that ball's going to be, oh, oh, under the net. Can't goes go all, right? the middle for Cedar Park. So if you watch club volleyball, you can go under the net, and the rule is in high school. In high school, you cannot, if one body part goes completely under the net, that's it. This ball is going to be handled in system. It's going to go to the right side. That's going to be blocked, picked up by Cedar Park. We're oh, oh, that's going to be a double contact. You got an eight, eight ball Point game. Tigers, 8-8. Eight to eight. Back to basics, right? Back to basics. Pass set, hit the ball. Mackenzie Plante continuing to serve. This ball is going to be out of system. We're going to have to get a roll shot or a Good free ball. Here. That ball is out of bounds. Timeout, probably. So that's going to be a timeout called by Cedar Park on a four-point swing. I'm really good at predicting when the coaches call timeouts. <laughs> Just like that. Jason Certain called timeout before the play had even ended. <laughs> so, so far, good and bad for both teams. Yeah. Big, huge swings. Dripping seems to be settling down now a little bit. You know, the defense for the Tigers, led by Taylor Chomlin, is crucial. Yep. Talk about the importance um, for our viewing audience or our listening audience about the importance of the libero. Oh, well, the libero sets your defensive tone. They're the leader in the back row, kind of like a free safety in football. Yes. Or a, uh, if you're playing a zone in basketball, your center is usually back there talking. And so you expect them to be the better defender. You expect them to execute passes better. And when they do, it really helps the team. And then their, their big plays are when they dig a really well-struck ball. And it's kind of like getting a block in basketball or an interception in football. So Mackenzie Plante serves that ball. Uh, it's handled very well by Cedar Park, set to the right side. Cedar Park hits it into the top of the net. So that's a point to the Tigers, 10-8. Like most teams we play, we're more talented at the net. So our like front row for Dripping Springs right now is Carly Sledge, Maddie Lund, and Annabelle Crowder. And so that's going to be a miss hit. It's going to be a free ball to the Tigers. And that's net violation, net violation on Cedar Park. So we're going to have to switch the score back. It should now be 11-8. We score should be 11-8. We were in the net, but they were in the net first. Yep. So with the net violation by Cedar Park, we lead 11-8. Mackenzie Plante continues to serve. This is out of system. It's going to go back row. She's going to roll it. Taylor Tomlin is going to defend that, that to Carly Sledge, but that's going to be blocked into the backcourt. That's that libero play, even though it didn't work out. That's huge. She dug a well-struck ball that nobody expected, but we didn't execute on offense. So maybe ball was set a little low, which made Carly Sledge came in hard and fast and yep. had to kind of fall back a little to the ball. And she goes one speed. She's not tipping. And that ball is out of bounds. Served out of bounds by Cedar Park. When you're the underdog, you cannot make mistakes. you got to play and make less mistakes than the favorite. So it should be 12 now. Should be 12 to 9. 
This ball is out of system going to the outside. It's off the hands of Natalie Arnold. Point Cedar Park. Number two Cedar Park, that's Kate Alex Sr. Not the biggest outside, but she looked explosive right there. We may have to shift everybody over because it's hard, it's really hard to see. This is an in-system ball that's set outside to Natalie Arnold, who's gonna hit the line. Oh, right on the line. But they call the ball out. 12-11. Callie Kruger back to serve for the Timberwolves. This ball is gonna be handled in system. It's gonna go to Natalie Arnold again. It's gonna be handled by Taylor Chomlin. It's gonna go backside to Annabelle Crowder. Blocked, off the ball, oh, free okay. ball. Now, oh, handled by Mackenzie Plante. It's gonna be a roll shot that's gonna go to the outside. Setters running for it. That's gonna be a touch. That's gonna be a touch, that's gonna be a tip. Handled by Crowder. Dripping Springs Tigers. Annabelle Crowder is gonna hit the ball Great down point. in the court, Point Tigers. Great point by Annabelle. She jumped to block the tip. They tipped, she landed, played the ball, transitioned back and got the kill. Subs coming. Ryan Frontera and Ava Williamson checking into the match. The score is not 11 to 13. Score should be 11 to 14. Ryan, one of our better servers on the air, so if she can get on a run. Go in middle, but that ball's set too low, and that'll be 14 11. 14 11, right, Thomas. Ryan Frontera, Ryan Frontera continuing to serve. This ball is going to be handled onto the right side. She's going to try to push middle. it way over with the roll shot, handled by Taylor Chomlin. There's a middle. Natalie Arnold swings off the block. She's so fast. Point Tigers. Feet and arm. Probably not the biggest in 5A, but she is an effective middle. She's got Frontera. a quick twitch with her hips. Ryan Frontera to serve. Runs. This ball is handled in system, picked oh, up by Taylor yeah. Chomlin. It's going to go outside about. to Carly Sledge, who's going to block it, but handled by Ava Williamson. Rolling. This ball is going to be out of system. It's got to go to the outside. Who's going to touch it? It's going to touch and land in. 15-12. Very excited. Timberwolves keep running past the down ref on those substitutions. So the down ref is going to hit them with a delay of game warning if they're not careful. Very amped up. You got to go up there and you got to wait. They've been doing it all year and they're just, this atmosphere has got them moving fast. So Timberwolves back to serve. Ryan Frontier is trying to chase it down. She cannot. That'll be an ace. Mishandled and it'll be just like good. that. It's 14-15. They're very slow on the scoreboard. 15-13 is right. They're is it 15-13? Yep. They're very fast on it. This ball is handled well. in system. Ryan Frontera is going to go middle. It's off the hands of the block, but picked up by Cedar Park. It's going to go quick to the outside. Handled by Ryan Frontera. Ava Williamson with a cut shot. It's going to be bump set to the right side. Tipped. Yep. Handled by Taylor Chomlin. Back row to McKenzie Plante. Dug up by, oh, Lord have mercy. That ball's going out of bounds. Yeah, that was. That's a lift. That was a bad touch, and it worked out. So the Cedar Park setter has a tendency to have some sticky hands when she yeah, sets this ball. Like she's playing sand sometimes. Tigers have the lead 16-13. Carly Sledge to serve. This ball's in system. It's going to go cross court, and tapeworm. Point Cedar Park. Carly Sledge will come out for Ella Baldwin. We got subs coming in for Cedar Park. Here we go. Cedar well, Park we back to serve. Time. Number two for Cedar Park serving. This ball is handled in system. It's going to go bump set backwards. Ava Williamson. This ball is in system. Oh, she's going to dig this ball. Ryan Frontera is going to dump it. It's going to be handled by Natalie Arnold. We're going to go shoot set to McKenzie Plante. We're going to go outside, and that's going to be a point for Cedar Park. They're scrappy. Cedar Park is playing like it's the last set of the year. Scrappy defense. I think after this set, we should shift. I and mean, if you can shift here, and we'll shift this way. He's a big guy. <laughs> Can't see. Natalie Arnold 
block. Back set up from front and front tail. We got a tie game, folks. 16 and very quickly, it is 16-16. That ball was set, and Natalie Arnold hits that square into the block. Short serve, handled outside to Mackenzie Plante. Stuff blocked. 17-16, Cedar Park. Through the net while celebrating, looking across the net. I'm not sure what the warning was. There. Yep. This ball is going to be handled in system. And that ball is going to be a point for the Tigers, 17 17. Ava really got that one. So I apologize to our viewing audience at home, but where we are sitting, we cannot see the net very well. But we're going to make an adjustment at the end of the first set so that we can give you a better play-by-play. -play. Natalie Arnold serving. This ball is handled in system. It's going to be touched off the block for the Tigers. It's going to go back to Ava Williamson, who's going to roll shot it. It's going to go to the outside. Touched, dug up by Natalie Arnold. Mackenzie Plante is going to have to really Out sort of, of push for it. Tough angle. Handled, handled again by, by Mackenzie Plante. That's touched off the block and down point Tigers. Natalie Arnold continuing to serve on a score of 18-17. What observation if you look the at The noise level in this gym yeah, is look ridiculous. At the, look at the Cedar Parks. Look how hard they're breathing. I don't think we've started playing yet. So this we ball handled in system yet. to the middle. That is blocked out of bounds. 18-18. 18-18. Laney Roberts, number eight, serving for Cedar Park. This ball is going to be in system to Natalie. This ball is going to be a free ball that comes over. Maddie Lund with the Ellie, swing. Ella Baldwin is going to handle this ball. It's going to go back to Ava Williamson, who's going to shoot it. It's going to go middle. He's going to swing the ball out of bounds. And subs coming in. Ryan Allison and Annabelle Crowder will come into the match. Tigers up, 19-18. Ryan Allison's in, back to serve. On our front row, we have Mackenzie Plante, Maddie Lund, and Annabelle Crowder. Lefty Ryan Allison, back to serve. That ball oh. is going to be... Picked up. Nope, that's Not an eight. Hard enough. And we're going to take a timeout for Cedar Park. Tigers Not lead 20-18. to 18. What a great atmosphere. Hard, is, hard to announce. with this ear open. I'm used to having the ones where But it's also not been this loud. There so, we go. There we go. So after the timeout, we have the Tigers continuing to serve. This is one of those things where this serve just has to be in. This just ball's handled in. in system. And that ball goes down between the hands of Maddie Lund, Point Timberwolves. We got subs coming. 16 is checked in for 13. 16, Olivia Mayab. 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 So loud. Tigers lead right now, 20 to 19. This ball is handled in system. Mackenzie Plante is going to block the ball out of bounds. Point, and Mackenzie Plante didn't even move. She knew where the ball was going. 
So we have subs coming. Mackenzie Puente will go back to serve. Carly Sludge. And on the front row with Maddie Lund and Annabelle Crowder. Mackenzie went on a four or five point run last time she served. Uh, she served that ball out of bounds. That's what they would call the announcer jinx right there. That's what you might call the announcer jinx. I just yep. said how well she served last time up. 21, 20, uh, feedback. 20. Peter Park to serve. It's handled in system. That ball is inbound by Carly Sledge. Point Tigers, 22-20. Taylor Tomlin back to serve. That was a sim that simple play you were talking about. Pass, set outside, let them head her do the work. This ball is also in system. It's going to go outside. Touch off the block. Blocking Down. Away. No defense. Point Cedar Park. Callie Kruger back to serve. Tripping Springs 22. Cedar Park 21. This ball is handled in system. It's going to go to Carly Sledge. This ball is off the hands of the defense. 23-21, subs coming. She hit that so hard off the block hands and off the libero's hands. <laughs> Ryan Frontera back to serve. Looking for a two-point run here for Miss Frontera. Ava Williamson checked back into the game on a front row of Natalie Arnold and Carly Sledge. This ball is in system. Right. Block was early. We've got subs coming. 22-23. Coach Kane looking for a good pass right here. I can't see. That ball's right in the corner. Good pass. Tigers, set point number one of set number one. 24-22. Cedar Park crowd thought that was out. Ref looks like they're paying attention. Good crew. Carly Sledge back to serve. Mackenzie Plante on the front row with Ava Williamson, Natalie Arnold. This ball is handled over, over. That ball is out. That's a Tiger point. That's set number one. Over pass. If you see the park, you let one slip away right there. Ladies and gentlemen, sides. we are going to slide over a little bit, try to see if we can get a little better visual acuity. Oh, somebody, something got unplugged. <laughs> What? Yeah, I, I, I just can't see. You can see a little bit. You can curve it. Somebody got it. It'll help that we're on this side, too.
All right. Welcome back, fans, to Flow Sports Network. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the good news is is that they turned the air conditioning on. Uh, it was about a million degrees in here. And Tigers take set left. number one, 25-22. I'm afraid. It, yeah, it doesn't. I can't hear him. Hello, hello. Check, 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 check. Check, check. I can't hear me. I can't hear him. I'm not on. I feel like I'm not on. Are you on? Are you on? Hello, hello. Check, check. check. You're good. Check, 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 I'm check. I'm just check, low. Check, check, check. Yeah, I'm check. just. I think we're back. I think I'm, we're good. Can you hear I me? I got you clear. But I can't hear myself, so maybe that doesn't matter. Okay. Well, <laughs> well here we are. Change, out of that change, if I'm Cedar Park, I'm really disappointed because we may not get another chance to be that close at the end of a set. If I'm Coach Kane, I'm happy that I was close and hoping that my guys wake up. Absolutely. we got to run the middle more. Maddie Lund didn't get one swing out of the middle. Natalie yep. Arnold only got one. Yep. They put Natalie Arnold on the outside twice. She got blocked twice. Is that, was that a substitution thing? No, it's just something they're out. trying to run to gotcha. get. Um, you know, we weren't even Different close to subs. Something. Different look on stuff. She's been really effective. I would say that Cedar Park scouted us exceptionally well. Yep. Their block was Where very, very good. Time. Ava got one down kind of midway through that set. I think it opened it up. McKenzie still hasn't hit like she's accustomed to. Cedar Park back to serve, the start of set two. This ball is handled in system. It's going to go to Carly Sledge, who's going to whale the ball out of bounds, and that'll be point Timberwolves. She had ill intentions on that swing. She has one speed. Yep. All yep. go. All go. <laughs> this ball is going to be handled out of system. It's going to be pushed up. We're going to have to give them a free ball. People are scrambling. They're going to run backside. It's going to be touched off the oh. block. Wh and we go Roll down shot. two to nothing, just like that. We got some water on the court. Ed Williamson's trying to dry up the court. It's an interesting way to dry the court with your knee pads. Knee pads work really, really well. So we need to get a pass. Cedar Park Timberwolves serve. That ball's in system. It's going to go outside to Natalie Arnold. So that's the third ball to Natalie Arnold on the outside that's been blocked. Yeah. Might want to take that one out of the playbook. They're just ready for it, it looks like. They are, and, and we're not seeing high hands. So uh, we, we've just got to be able to do something else with this. This ball is going to be handled in system. It's going to go to the middle to Carly Sledge. That ball is going to work. It's kind of the bread and butter of the Tigers, yep. right? We run that middle quick. Uh, we get better looks at things. We get one block, a single block, or an off block. If any, any one of our hitters gets a single block, we're usually scoring on that. And Carly Sledge will be back to serve. This ball is going to be handled in system. It's going outside pin. This is blocked out of bounds by Ava Williamson. Point Timberwolves with subs coming. 4-1 Timberwolves. Ella Baldwin checks in for Carly Sledge. And number four will check in for Cedar Park. Tigers are behind, one to four. Kate Alex serving for the Timberwolves. Off Tip the tape. off the block, Ryan Frontera back to Natalie Arnold. There we go, so that's so the look we, we need, right? Yeah. Great touch by Ryan. Natalie just, I mean, she didn't even swing hard, she just put it down. Nope, she just put it down. Nice so they were expecting easy. somebody to come from the front side. We ran backside for a point. Tigers still got work to do, two to four. Natalie Arnold back to serve. This is going to have to go middle for a tip. Dug up by Maddie Lund. Good it's going to go outside McKenzie Plante. Cedar Park is in the net, but the ball was down anyway. Underrated part. Some middles don't handle that ball that well. It's a great ball by Maddie Lund to put us in system. So that was a get. great set tempo ball to McKenzie Plante, and Cedar Park is still getting touches on this block. Yeah. That ball is served. Way out of bounds, like almost to the bleachers out of bounds. Natalie's looking at her hand as if she's not sure how that happened. You know, it's all about angles, right? You got to see where your angles are. This ball is handled in system. Great it's going to go to yes. Maddie Lund. Maddie Lund finally gets a swing. I said in the beginning we you need did. to go our medals because when teams scout us, they're looking outside a lot and forget about our medals. So that brings us back again to two points. 
We have a wet spot on the court, and it's the same spot. This was actually picked up by the line judge. I'm not sure. Is that the right score, four to five? <laughs> I'm asking our radio guy who's like, yep, that's the right score. I don't even know your name, radio guy. Kyle. Kyle's got it. Kyle Kyle's going to run the scoreboard. Kyle from Flow Sports. Got it down. This is going to be out of system. It's got to go back row. This it's ball is out of, out of bounds. bounds. No touch. Point Tigers, and that should tie it up five to five. If I'm Coach McLaughlin, I'm saying we're If not Kyle were running row. the scoreboard, it would be right. I'm not running back row anymore if I'm the Timberwolves. They have not been successful with that nope. yet. Nope. Ryan Allison back to serve. This ball is handled in system. It's going to go to the outside pin. No, antenna. 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 Ball don't lie. So, ball totally hit the pin. We all almost stopped playing. Luckily, we picked the ball up. Um, Timberwolves were out of system. Tigers lead 6-5, I think. Yes. <laughs> Ryan Allison again we back to serve. in full speed playoff volleyball. This ball is going to go really tight, and this ball is going to be handled. It's going to go off oh, of off the, the lights. Light, it's going to go back row. Roll shot to Annabelle Crowder. Handled. Ryan Allison to McKenzie Plante. It's going to be dug up well by Callie by Kruger. Callie. This is going to have to be a free ball to Taylor Chomlin. I'm thinking going we're going middle. middle. Too, too low. That ball's under the net. Was Point not the, Timberwolves. Not the greatest set, but I felt like Maddie could have done a little more with that. So the ball was a little bit too low yeah. for a 6-4 middle. And we are now tied back up 6-6. Six to six. But considering we were down 4-1. to one, At one point. We'll, we'll take it. We've settled in again. Timberwolves back to serve. This ball is handled pass. beautifully in system. It's back to McKenzie Plante with the roll shot. Just, just an off-speed roll shot. That's exactly when you've been blocked a few times, good hitters. Take something off, and now the blockers are thinking about that. Where is she going to go? How hard is she going to hit yep. it? She's actually just going to one-foot it right in the middle. McKenzie Plante back to serve. Tigers have a slight lead at 7-6. This ball is going to be handled out of system. It's going to go back row, dug up. Oh, Tight. Taylor Chomlin. Uh, now, nope. touch the net. Tried to get it out of the net. Had she only been three inches shorter, <laughs> or waited for it to hit the net. Tied. Score is tied seven seven. The Tigers look a little out of sorts. People don't know where we are in base. Yeah, we were we were almost out of rotation right there. Ball is handled beautifully by Taylor Chomlin. Back to Annabelle Crowder. So it's high hands again, right? You got high hands camped out on a block. You gotta see high hands. Yep. You can't just go swinging in the block and not cover. The set was a little wide and she felt like that's all she could do with it, I imagine. Again, nice, nice pass. This is to Carly Sledge is gonna be tipped. It's gonna be handled by back row because she used her. So Callie Kruger set the ball in front of the front row with her hands and then the hitter jumped and attacked the ball in she front of the 10 foot line hands, and so she cannot behind. do that. Yep. That's a good heads up call. By the way, this officiating crew are all USAV national yep. officials. Our up ref is very good official. Seen a lot of volleyball, know a lot about it. This is gonna be a free ball to the Tigers. Oh no, it's not. Oh, net by the and Cedar Park. Not to mention that was Doug. Yeah. I don't know who got it, but somebody dug that. So and I don't think the score's right again. But the score is not right. The score is not 9 8. Hey, Wood, do you have 9 8? They took the lead? No, we're Mustangs. I know, but we just got two points in a row. That's all right. Is that, that, is that the right score? <laughs> they must have went up 8 7, but I can't Tigers remember. Tigers oh, lead. The on Crowder. Tigers lead nine to eight, and Cedar Park has taken a timeout. Our cheerleaders are in the house tonight, and theirs and, are actually on the floor. And a huge crowd. Yeah, I'm not sure why we don't get why don't we don't get the floor. 
So out of the timeout, Tigers serve. Taylor Chomlin will be serving with a lead of 9-8. This ball will be handled in system. It's going to go backside. This ball is blocked block. by Natalie Arnold with a nice little 5-4 combination. Block assist by of Arnold and Sledge. Sledge. And the score is 10-8. It is right now. The score is right now. I don't know if it was right before, but it's right now. We've moved on. Taylor Tomlin back to serve. Plante's laughing with coach. That's a good sign. Very relaxed. This ball is going to be blocked Another again. Another block. This will be handled in system. Go out. The ball is going to go out, out of, of bounds. bounds. Outside the block. Outside the line. Point Tigers. Block, Tigers take a lead 11-8. Hitters stretching. Hits the ball out. Taylor Tomlin to serve. This ball is going to go over. Annabelle Crowder. And we call that Jason. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Crowder. Smiling big. Tigers lead 12-8. We're uh, one or two points away from a, uh, they just called a timeout. They though, just called they? a timeout. Not sure why. Let me check in with Thomas Kane. Cedar Park called that timeout, right? Not us. <laughs> Ball's going to be tipped. And Cedar Park will get that point at 9 to 12. Block was there. She tipped over. Nobody covered. Michael is fond of saying, I've known Michael a lot of years. He's like, don't block a tip ball. This ball is handled in system. It's going to go back to Ryan Annabelle Crowder. She's never above the net. Was that Ford? They call the block. So it was a low ball, and we just sort of swung into the block. This ball is going to be handled in system again. It's going to go middle to Carly Sledge. It's dug up. It's going to be a bump set to the outside. It's going to be not dug up by the Tigers. It was not a well-struck ball. Well, we were committed to the line. Yep. And so we, we shifted over to the line and could not shift back for just a easy little off-speed roll shot. Three-point three run by the Timberwolves here. See if we can get a side out. Short so serve, short handled well. To outside. I don't think so we were ready for that. So that was a miscommunication yep. as to what we were doing. This is handled and it's dug up. And it's dug up. We're going to go middle again. And they make the mistake. But the set was too low, and there was nothing the middle could do about that one for Cedar Park. So point Tigers. We got subs coming. Ryan Frontier and Ava Williamson checking in. Front row of Ava Williamson, Natalie Arnold, and Carly Sledge. Ryan Frontier back to serve. 13-11, Tigers. This ball is handled in system. That's going to go Another over. Another happy, happy birthday. birthday. Ava Williamson with the birthday cake right there. For those of you that are at home, when the ball by the opposing team is set into the front row of the of the hitting team, they just whack at it, and that's generally the end of that ball. All set up by a good serve. So Ryan Frontier again to serve. This ball is going to be out of system slightly, but still outside. Blocked by Blocked. Ava Williamson on the line. Point Tigers. The Tigers have the Timberwolves. And timeout number two. Playing out of system right now. They're a little out of system, so I'm trying to check with the up official. Is it zero to two on subs? He's got it. Yep, so that's it. This is the second timeout taken by Cedar Park. Uh, we have 45 seconds in this. So what are your thoughts right now? How are you liking the dynamic of set number two? I saw um, Coach Kane and McKenzie laughing when it was like 10-10, and I just felt like they knew that they had this. They're playing simple volleyball right now. We're starting to block a little bit more. Timberwolves hitters are starting to press a little bit more, hitting out, hitting into the block. Definitely had the momentum swing on our side. It's definitely an, a nice little momentum swing. I would still like to see us clean up a lot of things. You know, I I, I, I get frustrated as a, as a former player and as a, as a coach. Um, when it's not a great set and we just Crush whack it. at a pitch yeah. in the dirt, you yeah. know? I think you said it. One uh, game before, in is in way, is, way better than... In is good, yep. better the ball. Yep. In is good, better the ball. And then Ryan Frontera continuing to serve. This will be an ace. Serve. This will be an ace for Ryan Frontera, her first. 
I think we got the uh, Cedar Park caught in a bad rotation in the back row. Tigers lead 16-11. Ryan Frontera continuing to serve. Change this up. is a little short. This is gonna. This is low. Natalie Another Arnold. Block for Natalie this is, Arnold. This, there's nope. This isn't gonna happen. Ryan Frontera should be credited not with an ace on that one, but but certainly. Those with, don't go in the stats. Nope. The happy birthday doesn't go in the stats. Nope. That doesn't go in the stats, but that's good serving. Tigers lead 17-11. Ryan Frontera continuing to serve. This is our longest service run. Um, this ball Another is gonna be handled. Serve. Handled well. This is by a better ball. It's gonna go right side. So off the hands of Ryan Frontera into the court, point Timberwolves. Yeah. Didn't quite get the block where it needed to be. Ryan Frontera tried to dig that ball, wanted that dig. High five Coach Kane right there. See, the, I love that from Coach Kane. It's an intense match, not playing well. And he's this ball's trying in to system. Relax him. It's going to go out to Sledge with a shoot. Dug up by Cedar Park. It's going to be low. It's going to be tipped. Handled by Ava Williamson. It's going to go back row to McKenzie Plante which gets blocked. <laughs> Mackenzie Plante is not happy. Nope. And Ryan Frontera let the ball drop in front of her and she's Wasn't not happy either. Came back pretty fast. So that's a two point swing. So it's 13-17, need yep. to get momentum back. This ball is handled in system. Ryan Frontera is just gonna have to dig it. Natalie Arnold is gonna roll it into the back corner. Well done. It's gonna have to go outside. Block oh straight God. down, Natalie Arnold. Point Tigers! You can't play out of system against us. Just eventually you're gonna make mistakes or play right into our hands. So Ryan Frontera, and I know you can't see it at home, but the ball was so super tight to the net and she wanted to keep her feet on the right side. So she really had to just sort of jump up and save that. Tip it back, yep. That's and a good pass by Callie Kruger. Off the block, handled, over, over! I cannot believe we got that ball. Outside, touch, handled by Carly Sledge. Here we go. Ryan Frontera sets it to the middle. Natalie Arnold! And it's gonna be a free ball, roll shot. And handled, and Ryan Frontera's gonna go back. She's gonna get a double. She worked that ball too hard. <laughs> and that's gonna be 14 to 18, Tiger lead. I still see Tiger's pretty relaxed. Side out here will be huge. In system, Ryan Frontier is gonna have to jump for it. Block handled, bumped up by Ella Baldwin. Mackenzie Plante looking at the ball, high hands. It's gonna get shot to the outside. The line judge called it in. Both of them called Both it in. Both of them called it in. The down ref called it in. The up ref signaled it was in. Point Timberwolves, 15 to 18. So here's where we need to side out. Don't let this team back into this game. This ball is handled in system. It's gonna go back to Ava Williamson. Blocked! It's a good set. It's 16-18. 16. Handled by McKenzie Plante. Blocked and over. This ball is going to be shot. It's going to go back to Abe Williamson, who's going to roll it out of bounds. Out of the antenna. And Michael Kane's going to take a timeout. Yep. That's a five-point run by the Timberwolves. We did not look. Super sharp right there. Well, it was 18 to 12. It's now 17 18. So, once again, we have hitting errors, right? We have hitting errors. A, a blocking, if you get blocked, that goes down as a hitting error for your side, right? Yep. So, you got to see high hands. Well, in that Ava swing, there was nothing there. She's just trying to get it over and failed to do so. We focus, we focus, and then we lose focus. We relax. Seeing this from our team a lot of the time. They're just chirping at her. So it's 17 to 18. Cedar Park continuing a serving run. Cedar Park looking to tie this up. Big point here out of the timeout for both teams. This ball is handled in system. 
This ball is going to be blocked up. Ryan Frontera is going to handle it. Dave Williams, and again, roll shot handled. It's going to go back, back row, row, dug up by Ryan Frontera. Taylor Tomlin, we're going to have to get a free ball. Callie Kruger passes this. It's going to go back. It's going to be blocked. Handled up. Dug. Dug up. Dug up. Taylor Tomlin and Ella Baldwin watching it. And the ball tied drops up. in the corner. And it's 18 tied up 18-18. I would say that was a great play. But actually, both of our girls could have gotten that. And neither one did. So this is the moment. Everybody's got to start playing volleyball. It's handled out of system. It's going to go to McKenzie Plante. He's going to have a roll shot. It's going to go back. That's a free net. No, no block there. The Timberwolves take the lead, 19-18. So we're hitting very tentative right now. Yep. We are not hitting with confidence. And that goes we are not hitting with force. Th those blocks are starting to add up on their side. We're getting This ball nervous. is out of system. Ella Baldwin's going to bump set that to McKenzie Plante. It's going to go Callie Kruger. It's going to go. That's going to be tipped. Handled by Ella Baldwin. Ryan Frontier is going to bump set it to McKenzie Plante. He's going to roll shot it. This is going to be dumped, Ooh. handled, and it's going to be a double or a lift. I call that the Dr. J. He used to palm the basketball. <laughs> 19 all, folks. We're Pull working awfully hard for this. Yep. Relax, Natalie Arnold back to serve, 19-19. Natalie Arnold has not had great serving. This one is going to be... She's back row. Maddie Lawn with the touch. Big smile for Maddie. Way to go, Tiger. So the other team wanted to get us on an overset ball, but the ball penetrated the plane in the net. So Maddie Lund can touch it. And the setter for Cedar Park is front row, so it's not an illegal violation. Illegal, right. what's, this, what's this called? Yep, yeah, back row. Back row. Okay. Illegal block. So this ball's low. Big block. Handled. It's going Maddie outside. Lund. Tipped. Tipped. Handled by right. Ryan Frontera. Right to Frontera. Ella Baldwin to McKenzie Plante. Off the block. Handled by Ryan Frontera. Maddie Lund. Off the block, rolled back. It's going to be a roll shot, free ball. Be Ava Williamson. Right here. It's going to be back, the double to McKenzie Plante, handled. It's going to go back row again, handled by Ella Baldwin. It's going to go back row to Ava Williamson, who's going to roll shot it. Great point, folks. And this is going to be tight. Go, go. 2020. Cedar Park to serve. So we've just got some looky-loos on defense. We're not focused, we're not dialed in. That ball's out. That is a service error by Cedar Park and we got subs coming. It's 21-20, Ryan Allison and Annabelle Crowder. We got a front row, McKenzie Plante, Maddie Lund, Annabelle Crowder. Ryan Allison back to serve. See if the lefty can good serve. This ball is going to be handled in system. It's going to go back row. It's going to be picked up. Ryan Allison is going to to McKenzie Plante is going to tip that ball. Beautiful tipped ball by the Tigers. 22-20. Ryan Allison continuing to serve. No timeouts for the Timberwolves. One more timeout for the Tigers. This ball is going to be handled in system. They're going to shoot way to the pin. Oh, off the block of Annabelle Crowder. Tooled. Tooled. She touched it. Annabelle Crowder wants that one back. It's 21 20. Cedar Park to serve. Dylan Gilkey serving for the Timberwolves. This ball is out of system. It's going to go back to McKenzie Plante, who's going to bear. Oh, we have a net violation and a ball inbounds anyway. 23-21 Tigers. Carly Sledge checks back in. McKenzie Plante back to serve. Is that ball in or out? That ball is in. I could not see. Right in the corner. <laughs> Coffin corner, as Chuck would call it. One foot in deep, one foot in wide. This ball is going to be out of system. It's got to go right side. Blocked. Oh. 
Hawks blocked oh, straight down. By Maddie Long and Carly Sledge. I believe Maddie got most That is that an 8-5 combination right there. And for set number two, this is set point number one. Mackenzie Plante serving for the set. Really putting the Timberwolves in a hole right here. So this is an in-system pass. It's going back row, roll shot, handled by Mackenzie Plante to Maddie Lund, low. This is dug up by Callie Kruger. It's going to go right side tip, handled by Mackenzie Plante. It's going to go back to Annabelle Crowder, who's going to see high hands, handled by Callie Kruger. It's going to go back row for the Timberwolves. Oh. It is too low into the net, and set number two goes to the Tigers. As soon as she executed that last back row, I said, that's fool's gold. All right, welcome back, folks. Two, Set number zero. three. <laughs> Springs. This has not been an easy match, though, for the Tigers. This Cedar Park team is a very talented blocking team, um, which is surprising. And well prepared, like you said earlier, I think. I think they've scouted well. Right. Um, I think that um, Callie Kruger, the libero for Cedar Park, whom you and I know very well, um, this is where her talents lie. Yep playing that back row. You know, she, she understands the game. She has a high IQ, um, only a freshman, but more experienced than probably most of the people on the court. Yep. High level volleyball. So it's kind of making a big difference. Um, we're getting beat in that back corner. That left back corner has yep. got to get cleaned up for us. If I'm Coach Kane, I'm reminding the girls we were up 18-12, everything was working and we relaxed. So we got to focus this third set. We can't drop a set thinking we got two more to get. We've got to get better production out of some of our hitters. Yep. Ava Williamson needs better production. We got to keep the ball in play because yep. we're blocking way better than they are now, especially the last half of that set. We're getting used to what they're running, I believe. So Ryan Frontera will be serving first for the Tigers. Our front row is Ava Williamson, who is our right side. Natalie Arnold in the middle, Carly Sledge on the outside. Libero Taylor Chomlin, Mackenzie Plante middle back. Ryan Frontera, our setter, will be serving. And here we go. Third set underway. So this ball is in system. No block. Off the hands of Ryan Frontera, point Timberwolves. The Timberwolves have taken first blood. 
every time. In all three sets. Natalie was there, but I think she was just a little bit. One block, and she cut the side. ball back, too. Yeah. She cut, cut the ball hard back. Timberwolves to serve. This ball is in system. We're going to go middle to Ava Williamson. This ball is going to the pin off the Timberwolf player and then off a spectator's head. And off the bleachers. And, and off the bleachers. The up ref stand. That was dangerous. And score is tied 1-1. Carly Sledge to serve. This ball is going to be handled also in system. It's going to go right side block. Through the hands of Mackenzie Plante, Point Timberwolves. That's just not, that's lazy right there. She did not press. She's much stronger than that. So I would say that Mackenzie Plante is not physically healthily, healthy at her best right, right now. I think that knee is still tweaking her a little bit. Yep. Right? Yep, and I think they've done a good job of trying to take her out of the game some. So Timberwolves to serve. They have a lead of 2-1. This ball is going to be handled in system. McKenzie, <laughs> see, and that's what I need to say. McKenzie Plante is not playing at her best. She's We're going to run still, a shoot to McKenzie Plante. She still didn't hit that 100 miles an hour like she does sometimes. I don't know. She just was, well, the, was tight. The block went all the way to the, like she stands to go for her approach in the same spot. Yep. Right? And they were camped on the outside, not for that in the middle. Yeah. This ball oh. is going to be a free ball, roll uh. shot. Into the net. Point Tigers. Tigers take a lead of 3-2. Three to two. Three two. Natalie Arnold back to serve. I kind of feel like the Tigers have taken the best punch Cedar Park had. Let's see how this plays out this set. This ball is going to be have to be a free ball. Ella Baldwin to Ryan Frontera to Maddie Lund. Off the hands of the block. Point Tigers. Tigers lead 4-2. Maddie Lund's played really well the last two sets. The last set in the start of this Well, one. she's penetrating, right? Her hands yep. are getting above and uh, uh, across the net. You know, Mick Haley for the University of Texas always used to say, why are we blocking on our side of the net? Right. This is going to be a roll shot tip handled by Ryan Frontera. This is just going to have to be a free ball that handled by Callie Kruger. We're going to go backside slide off the block, down point Timberwolves. I know nobody can see, but... That wide pass to McKenzie out on the Marble Falls letters. How she handles those balls is unbelievable. Yeah. So there is a there is a there's some sort of situation where everything on this court on this side is wet. So we have water on the court or sweat on the court. I didn't see anybody dive over there. I, I haven't either, but Clearly, there's maybe there's a leak in the ceiling, except I don't think the rain is supposed to start here until like 10 or 11. Well, it's not because of the air conditioning because I'm not sure. It it's is running. not because of the air conditioning. Let me tell you, folks at home, <laughs> it is really warm in here. You see a lot of rosy cheeks on the yep. players right now, too. Uh, the coach is red. The players are red. Even our even our radio guru is all red faced. He's sweating. <laughs> sweating, mad. No, he's not. He's doing great. Four three Tigers. Third set. Timberwolves to serve, handled in system. Back to Ava Williamson, who's going to roll shot it. We should probably not do that again. This is going to go to the right side. Tipped, handled. Ryan Frontera is going to try to dive for it. Good play by Taylor. So, not a, quite enough on it. So, Ava Williamson, this team has scouted because normally that player has dropped back here. Yeah, and that's why And they have put her right where Ava Williamson has done that, and she's been dug four times. Yep. We should. That ball is going to be served out of bounds by the Timberwolves. It's five to four Tigers with subs coming. I like how relaxed we are, but at the same time, I don't like how relaxed we are. Relax and focus are hard combinations, and only really good teams are able to do that. Let's see if we can pick it up right here. This ball is going to go over, handled. Somebody's going to have to do something because we're all just standing around watching the ball. So the setter for Cedar Park is front row, which means that she can jump and dump the ball. And we all got stood watching her do yeah. that, and they get the point. And now it's 5-5. I'm but not now she, she's only tried that once and got called for the lift. But now she's back row. This ball is out of system, handled by Annabelle Crowder. This is going to have to be a, a free ball to the Tigers. This is where you got to execute if you're trying to go to the regional finals. This is going to be well over by Maddie Lund. It's going to be blocked down 
Point Tigers. We got subs coming. Carly Sledge will check back into the game. Ella Baldwin's doing a good job as DS. There's Maddie Lundigan making plays at the net. Mackenzie Plante back to serve. This ball is going to be out of system as well. Happy birthday! Oh, Carly Sledge. Carly just said, yeah, I did. They said Carly Sledge is in the net. Maddie Lund is saying, no! Carly Sledge just said, yeah, I did. And Carly Sledge <laughs> said, yes, I did. And that, my friend, is the problem with the happy birthday. That's the happy birthday that you accidentally uh, pushed off the table onto the floor. It's going to be dug up by Ryan Good Allison. By Ryan Allison. Abel Williamson's going to have to have a roll shot. This ball's going to be dug up. That's it's going to be from the outside, handled, dug up. Mackenzie Plante puts a free ball back over. Scrambling. Cedar Park out of system. It's going to the pin. And that will be a kill. Cedar Park takes the lead, 7-6. That's Kate Alex Sr., one of the better hits we've seen in the, from an outside here. So we give Cedar Park second chance opportunities and they're gonna put the ball away. Yeah. This ball is in system. We're gonna go back row to Annabelle Crowder. That ball is down, Point Tigers. 7-7. I, seven, seven. I still think we're out thinking ourselves and not well, things not are not coming offense, easy, yeah. right? Things are not coming easy. And usually in a by-district game, you're used to things being a little easier. But our by-district is just as good as ours is. Yep. Rouse, Leander, Cedar Park, Liberty Hill are just as good as our four teams. Yep. Canyon, Tybee. So it's an any given Alabama Sunday. Because yep. I, I don't know what the score is going to be of Rouse and Tybee, but I promise you it's not going to be a, a cakewalk. Yep. I agree. We've beat Canyon. Alamo Heights has beat us. Who's Tyvee's playing? beat Cur Alamo Heights. Alamo's playing Tyvee. Uh, that match may be over. So Tigers back to serve with a current lead of 8-7. to seven. Tigers are the home team. So when we look at the scoreboard, being that we're at Marble Falls, we see Mustangs. And that ball is going to be served into the net by Taylor Chomlin, 8-8. Eight, eight. It's one of those things where you just go, can we just get a break? <laughs> it's one of those nights where a lot of people are not playing their best. This Every ball's going to be handled in system. It's going to go outside to Carly Sledge, dug up by Timberwolves. It's going to be a middle swing, dug up, handled. Everybody's going for a ball. Four contacts, point Timberwolves. The floor seems to be really slick. Maybe the humidity? It's always in the know. same spot, like the floor is wet. Timberwolves to serve. Kruger back to serve. This ball is going to be handled in system to middle. It's going to have to be tipped. It's going to go to the outside. Tipped, handled by Carly Sledge. It's going to be have to be tipped to the corner. It's going to be out of bounds. So that's two middle sets that are just too low. Yep. She couldn't get it over on top of the ball at all. Have to set our middles higher. Cedar Park. Short ball into the net. Point Tigers. We got subs coming in Ryan Frontera. Ava Williamson. Ryan Frontera will be to serve. This has been one of our most effective lines right here. Deficit of 9 to 10. Ball's in. Ace. Ace Frontera. Corner pocket. That ball dropped right at the last second, right into the corner. And that's a timeout, 10-10, taken strange by the Timberwolves. Timeout. What? She's called a couple of strange timeouts. You know, I think she doesn't like momentum shifts, last, right? Last, last set, when we took that 23-21 lead, she didn't have a timeout. You know, sometimes you take timeouts early. You know, you, you usually don't like to take a timeout before 14, especially when it's 10-10, but she clearly sees something she doesn't like. Yep. Because this do or die, right? Their season is on the line this in the next it. 15 points. And I, I'll say to their credit, they've been playing the whole match like that. Like, this is it for us. 
This is a well-coached team. They play exceptionally well. Again, this court seems to be wet at the weirdest places. I haven't seen us shift gears yet and just go on one of those four-point runs where it's ace, kill, block, ace. Ryan Frontera back to serve. Maybe this is the start of it. This ball is going to be handled out of system. This is our chance. It's just right going to have to be a. Here We're we go. System here. There we go. Net violation by Cedar Park, but the ball is down. Right. Natalie Arnold in the middle. Fast it's a well set ball. Point Tigers. She just seems to take care of it, even when it's not perfect. Tigers lead 11-10. Ryan Frontera to serve. This ball is going out. Did not drop that time. Too much zip on it. We got subs coming, scores 11-11. We have an injured player right now. Who's that? Oh, we have blood. Or not. Not sure what we have going on there. The well, she had blood. I mean, oh. but I think it's not bleeding. Gotcha. 11 all, folks. Ryan Frontier is going to have to work at the ball. Ava Williamson is going to have to roll shot it. It's going to go to the outside. It's going to be handled by Ryan Frontera. Taylor Tomlin's going to dig it up to Mackenzie Plante. He's going to roll shot this ball. Setter is going to handle it to the back row. Going to be dug up by Mackenzie Plante. Oh, out, to, ball. out to Carly Sledge right good in ball. the corner. Point Tigers. Great set by Ryan Frontera from the far back corner to bump set the ball backward. The beauty of that play, whether she has to bump set it from behind or if it's traditional, is it moves the defense and the hitters can find the gaps. This is a short serve. This is in system. It's going to go right back. That, no touch off the block. No touch off the block. No touch. That ball's going to be blocked. That ball's going down. Oh, it's outside the antenna. The ball, as they might say occasionally, no touch. the ball no touch. No line. touch. <laughs> No touch. Michael's, Michael's looking at me. <laughs> I'm like, there's no touch on that ball. <sighs> Carly Sledge, this ball's in system. We're going to go out to the outside. That is a block that's been dug up. It's going to have to be a free ball. It's going to handle short. Ryan Frontier is going to push it to the right side. Abe Williamson's going to tip the ball. It's going to be handled. It's going to go back to the outside. Who's going to roll shot it down through the hands of Natalie Arnold, the point Timberwolves. We had that point dominated, and then at the very end, they made the play. So that's where you have to wait on your block, right? On especially on a ball like that, and you can't press hard, right? You can't. You have to. You have to watch, and you have to set your feet, and you have to come, and you have to press soft. There is no quit in the Timberwolves. So it is Timberwolves serving. Kate Alex serving for the Timberwolves. The ball is going to be handled in system. Ryan Frontera having to drive for it. And that's going to be a net violation by Carly Sledge. Uh, Mackenzie Plante. Sorry, Mackenzie Plante. 13-13. Her, her uh, follow through hit the net? That's what they call I it? I believe so. First, I thought it might be Ryan. I couldn't see. This ball is out of system, handled by Ella Baldwin, bump set to McKenzie Plante. This ball is going to be handled in system. It's going to go, oh, that's going to be a double. So the good thing about this official is she's exceptionally consistent. consistent exactly. Very consistent. She knows what she likes and she knows what she doesn't like. I think she's called two doubles on two on each side, four total. Natalie Arnold back to serve. Tigers with a very small lead of 14-13. Arnold hasn't broke out on her serve. She can get she can get going. This ball is going to be handled in system. It's going to go to the outside. It's going to be handled. Well, just well Ella Baldwin was there, but didn't finish moving her feet. <laughs> short. We're just uh, six 14, inches away 14. from so many plays. Uh-oh. Number 10's in. I don't think she's in before. Penelope Moreno. Crowd's going wild. Lefty. This ball is handled in system. It's going to be a jump set. Mackenzie Plante blocked. Handled. Over. This ball is going to go back row. Wow. They executed that back row. 
And it was a low set. <laughs> and the Timberwolves take a one point lead on the Tigers. Plante, we ran that where she comes inside and they were waiting for it. The ball's out, outside the antenna. And we're tied up again, 15-15. We got double subs coming in. We got Ryan Allison coming in and Annabelle Crowder. Why are the girls so fired up that they can't wait at the line? <laughs> you know, it's, it, it's, a hard, it's a hard thing to do. You know, by this point in a match, usually you already know the subs prior to them even going yeah. up there. You know what's going to happen. Ryan Allison back to serve with a tie score of 15-15. That ball is going to go out of bounds. That's two serving errors by the Tigers. One by Ryan Frontera, one by Ryan Allison. 16-15. Tigers look relaxed still, but I'm going to do, I, I hope we uh, tighten up a little bit. This ball is, in this ball is out of system. It's going to go back row. Kinsey Plante is just going to kind of take a whack at it. It's going to be a bump set to the right side. Blocked. Block. This ball is going to go Maddie Lund off the block. Handled by the Timberwolves. It's going to be a back set. It's going to be in the court. In. Point Timberwolves, 17-15. Looked like we made contact with it or just a miss hit, but still went in. Well, I, I just feel like we, we give up on plays, right? If it's if we have to work just a little harder for something, we don't take that extra step. Yep. That's a two-point lead at 17-15. That's hard. That ball is going to be served into the bottom of the tape. You can't upset. 16-17. Anybody making those kinds of errors. Setter is now on the back row for Cedar Park. They've got three hitters up front. Kenzie Plante back to serve. Carly Sledge, Maddie Lund, and Annabelle Crowder on the front row. This ball is handled in system. It's going to go back. It's going to be touch off Ryan Allison, who jumped. I'm not sure what happened. She was right there. 18-16, Cedar Park getting close to the danger zone here. I think we need to find Carly Sledge a couple times. That ball's out of bounds, too, and that'll be 17-18. So that's two serving errors to match our two serving errors. Nobody wants it. It's adrenaline right now. Everybody's a little jacked up. Taylor Chomlin, this ball is going to be blocked down by Carly Sledge. Smart play by Carly Sledge. Don't swing at the ball and hit the net. We hit the tape. We swung at one they dug. She sweeps it right to the floor. Kill him with kindness, man. It, it's just a beautiful thing when it happens. 18-18, Chomlin to serve. serve. This ball is going to have to be a back row attack. Handled, oh, no. Transition defense. Transition yep. defense. That was. So they're swinging back row, and we're all just slowly That's backing up. I was about up. to say, we're tight, and they're playing free. They've got nothing to lose. They're down two. Two sets to zero, and they're not supposed to win. Air quotes for those of you that yep. can't see me. I thought they were first saying senior bowl. I didn't know what they were saying at first. Let's go. Let's see who wins this timeout. 1918 Timberwolves. So Timberwolves will be back to serve with Callie Kruger, who's certainly been their most effective server tonight. Last time up, she did uh, serve that one into the net, but let's see what she calls here. They called the short serve, which is always tough coming out of the timeout. I'm guessing she's not going to pop this one short. She just got it in. This ball is going to be handled in system. That's ball too low again. This is ball going to go to the outside, who's swing and roll shot, handled by McKenzie Plante, who's going to dump the ball. They're going to go to the right side. This ball is going to be blocked. It's going to be passed up to the outside hitter. This ball is going to go in the court on a roll shot down the line. Point Timberwolves. 18, Michael Kane 20. is telling Ryan Allison, set your hitters. 
you're going to shoot a ball, shoot it to the back corner, not when there's six people in front of the 10 foot line. Uh, sometimes the dump becomes a hero play. This ball is out of system. It's have to be bump set up. They're going to have to tip this ball middle. Everybody's diving over everybody else. Then we're going to have to handle this one. Ryan Allison's going to take it to the back row. McKenzie Plante. This ball is going to be handled in system. It's going to go with a great bump set. Who's going to? No, Point Timberwolves. Off Ryan Allison. Timeout again. 21-18 Timberwolves. Just not quite making some of these routine plays we normally make. I don't know if we're pressing. Yep. So the oh, Tigers okay. have a 2-1 option right now. For every point Cedar Park gets, they have to get two. And if they do that, then they'll catch up. They let one more point go, it's it's almost impossible. Yep. It's statistically just really, really hard. I'm thinking we just need to focus on this side out, get out of this rotation. Oh, we have subs coming up. On we have out. subs coming up, yep. Here we go. Tigers are behind. 18-21. Crunch time right here for set number three. Callie Kruger back to serve. This ball is handled Good in system. Serve. It's going to go outside. Not even remotely ready for that. Ball is going to be handled by Taylor Tomlin. Back to McKenzie Plante. He's just going to roll shot it. Block at the net. 22 Yep. We had a great pass and couldn't execute the set and swing. So that ball is going to be tipped over. It's going to be a free ball. They're going to have to roll shot it, handled by Taylor Chomlin. We're going to go back. We're going to probably get a no double. They are just Peter scrappy. Park, diving diving all over the place. everywhere. Happy birthday for them. That's their first one. 23, Cedar Park, 18, Dripping Springs. Coach Kane out of timeouts. Kyler Kruger still serving. Starting to see a little bit of some body language issues on the Dripping Springs side. This ball is blocked by the Tigers, going back right to McKenzie Plante. This ball is handled in system. It's going to go to the right side again. That ball's going to be swung out of bounds, Point Tigers. She was swinging for the fence on that one. Yep. Dude, we got work to do. Here we go, though. Last time Ryan was up, she went on a four-point run. Let's see if we can do it again. So it is 19-23. Ryan Frontera back to serve. Carly Sledge, Ava Williamson, and Natalie Arnold on the front row. This ball is going to be handled in system. It's going to go to the middle. It is going to be right into the middle of the court. No block. No touch, no defense. Set point number one of set three for the Timberwolves. So right now we want momentum. We gotta, gotta come back from yep. this. We gotta get some momentum. This ball is gonna be dug up by Carly Sledge in the middle. Ava Williams, that is not gonna get it done. We're gonna go outside. Oh, that's gonna be a double contact. So. Carly Sledge is back. Carly Sledge back to serve. Tigers behind, and it's a timeout by Cedar Park. 20-24. So right now, it's again, it's just all about shifting energy, controlling your momentum. I mean, changing your body language. Absolutely. We got some girls not uh, being. Being self-centered and not team-centered right now. Yep. Thinking about their mistakes and not just being a teammate. So it's really critical that we earn this next point. Even if we don't win the set, we still have to. We still have to win this point. Our outside hitters are not getting the production. I think Madelon has one kill. 
Maddie? I think Maddie has one kill. I think Natalie Arnold might have two. Carly Sledge, back to serve. Set point number two for the Timberwolves. Carly serve is short. It is in system. It's going to go outside. It's going to have to be cross court. That ball's out of bounds. No touch. Point Tigers. 21-24. Setter for the Timberwolves is front row. Carly Sledge. This ball is Sorry, also in player. system going to the outside. That's blocked down. That's it. Set three goes to the Timberwolves. Timberwolves are celebrating like it's possibly the match. Well, you know, it's all about momentum, right? Yep, they've got it right now. All right, we'll come back for set number four in two minutes and 49 seconds. Yeah. All right. So we're back for the start of set number four. Welcome Tiger. back out there. Yeah. Exciting. It's exciting. So Tigers went up the first two sets, 25-23, 25-22, and they just dropped this set, 21-25. Pretty tight sets. There's been some big leads, mostly by the Tigers. Been some early leads by Cedar Park, 4-3 or 5-3. Or so here we are at set number four. Ryan Frontera, Carly Sledge, Natalie Arnold, Ava Williamson, Mackenzie Plante, and Taylor Chomlin will start for the Tigers. I'm not sure why our cheerleaders don't get to take the floor. Did we like flip and lose or what? I don't think they look happy to be here. Well, that's great. <laughs> So we are in serve receive. So Cedar Park will serve first. Number 13 for Cedar Park will start first. The setter for Cedar Park will start on the front row. Callie Kruger, the libero, has come in. Here we go. Cedar Park, back to serve. Tiger side fans starting to, starting to hear them a little bit. They've been asleep for a while. This ball is going to be in system. It's going to go outside to Carly Sledge. Ball's going to be swung out of bounds. And Cedar Park takes the first, first point point. again, as they have in all four sets.
It's not a great set, but we got swing out of bounds. Yep, you gotta do better. This ball is going to be handled in system. It's going to go back to Natalie Arnold and blocked. 2-0, pretty much our traditional start tonight. Correct. So we're not covering very well. So we swing out, we swing into the block. This ball is going to go out of bounds. So nice look by Mackenzie Plante. Run killer for them. Which brings us back 1-2, Carly Sledge back to serve. Well, if your coach Kane, this is going to be up. an ace into the hands of the cheerleaders. This will be four contacts. Score is tied two to two. So again, I you know the Tigers are poised. They're relaxed. Um, maybe a little bit too relaxed. Maybe some intensity. Yep. This ball is going to be handled. Out of, it's got to go to the right side. It's going to be a roll shot handled by Ryan Frontera. Bump set. Oh, McKin. Oh no. No, they're in the net. No, they're in the net. We're in the net? We were, but I don't know. Dude, I thought first. they were in the net. It was, a, it was a poorly played ball, no matter which way you slice it. So we bump set that ball into sort of impossible land. Yeah, I don't know what she could have done with it. Timberwolves back to serve. Oh, Ryan Frontera tries to chase that ball down. Taylor mishandled that one. 4-2. That ball is going to be a serving four, error. Four. Ryan Frontera was ready for it. 3-4. I feel like we have three points, but I feel like we haven't done anything. Nope. They've served out <laughs> twice, or <laughs> served out and into the net. Two service errors. If they end up losing this, their coach is going to go back and look at that. Not that we haven't committed our fair share of errors. This ball is going to go right to the right side by Ava Williamson, who's going to swing the ball. This ball is going to be, there's Ava Williamson's kill. That's going to be a touch off the defense. Point Tigers. 4-4. Four, four, four. Four, four. <laughs> Not a lot happening other than serves. Natalie Arnold, back to serve. Ace, out, ace, out, out, ace. It's a song. This ball is handled in system. It's going to go back row. Doug. Oh! Out of bounds. Well, we went through the chairs to try to get it. It was well into the stands. 5-4, Timberwolves. Ryan Frontera is angry. She would like to have that ball back. Next play, folks. Mackenzie Plante It's going to go back to Abe Williamson again. It's going to be tipped and it's going to be handled. It's going to go to the outside, Doug. Ella Baldwin digs for it, cannot get it. 6-4, Timberwolf lead. I'm feeling like the Timberwolves feel like they can take this. They have the momentum, that's for sure. Last set and uh, 10 points in, 6-4. This ball is handled in system. Mackenzie Plante is going to dig the ball. I'm sorry, Mackenzie Plante is going to swing on the short serve. Finally got a little, little crack Ooh, Plante. Mercy. Subs coming, Ryan Allison coming in for an Annabelle Crowder. It's five to six. Tigers are behind by a point. Not sure where the momentum is either. Yep. We need some defense right now. We need a block, we need some swings. This ball is in system. Well played on Cedar, Cedar Park. Well executed. 7-5, Cedar Park to serve, setters on the back row. Emma Wagner coming in for Annabelle Crowder on the right side. Oh. This ball is handled in system. It's gonna go right side to McKenzie Plante. And that'll be a point for the Tigers, six to seven. We've got subs coming, Carly Sledge coming back in. This might be one of those situations where you're just like, we're gonna go with. Well, we have to change. We had we had to make a change. Something okay. had to happen on the block, so we put Emma Wagner in uh, for blocking on the outside. This ball is going to be back to the right side. No block. Point. 
We're starting to look at each other, pointing fingers. So the Timberwolves take the lead at 8-6. This is one of those times where Coach Kane's pretty stoic right now, which I think is actually not a bad thing. This ball is... Uh, everybody's quitting and everybody's watching the ball and nobody's playing defense. The momentum is definitely shifted to the... To Cedar the Park. 9-6, Cedar Park. This ball is going to be handled in system. It's going to go outside to Carly Sledge. He's going to block the ball, but it's going to go out of bounds. Point Tigers. I say we keep it simple. Yep. Keep it really simple. See high hands. Both teams making errors, so if we could cut down on them. This is going to have to be, this is generally not something we handle very well. It's going to, it's too low again. Making it work. It's going to be a bump set here. off the block. Not quite there. The middle sets are too low. They are too low. It's 10-7, Timberwolves lead. Callie Kruger back to serve. This ball is in system. That's a touch off the block, but handled by... No block, 11-7. 7 timeout dripping springs middle school uncle mo as they call it momentum is all on the cedar park side we're standing around looking at each other <laughs> and they're clapping for each other a lot of match left but right now Th there is but right now we are flat-footed we have no energy we have no enthusiasm nobody's excited to be here nope nobody looks like they enjoy playing this game cedar park no they don't and looks in like fact that nine hour lives. poster right there <laughs> might get put in a closet because the tiger is beautiful it is. <laughs> yeah. certainly tigers have been here before and, and pulled these out but in the playoffs, it only takes one night to be off. One night to be off. Can you imagine if we go out in the first round? <laughs> Shock the world. All right. Timberwolves back to serve. This ball is out of system. Handled by McKenzie Plante, it's going to be a free ball. Handled to Callie Kruger, it's going to go outside. Blocked. There's That's a point for the Tigers. Subs coming. Emma Wagner with the block. Could be huge, could be the spark we need right there. Ryan Frontera back to serve. 8-11. Got to make some good decisions here. That ball's in. Ace for Ryan Frontera. Ball landed right on the line. Good serve. She's done that twice now. One was last one was a little deeper in the corner. Well, they need to keep the ball away from Callie Kruger. She's too good in serve receive right now. The ball's going out too. God bless America. Ace, and then we just all we've done is move the game along. She knows. Here we go, it's 9-12, let's go. Momentum. Kamara Carter, senior, serving for Cedar Park. The block for Cedar Park. These kids are like 5-7. Yep, same height. Just want it more right now, looks like. 13-9. Ball's in system. It's going to be dug up. It's going to be a free ball. It's in. It's out. <laughs> Chase the ball down. Wow. 
10-13. Carly Sledge blocked to serve. Mackenzie Plante coming to the front row. Let's go, Tigers. Let's go. This ball is an ace for Carly Sledge. That couldn't have come at a better time. Yep. That's number six has struggled with some of her serve receives, trying to find her again. We need to serve number six all the time. See if we can find her again. Good pass there by her, though. Blocked. Handled. Blocked Dug up. This would be a free ball. Handled. Going to Natalie Arnold. Boom! Point Tigers. 12-13. Oh, Tiger bench is alive. You know, sometimes these good teams put themselves, almost like they put themselves in these situations on purpose to see how they can dig. And we're going to So the officiating crew is managing the bench, don't. making sure that they, and we got a timeout <laughs> taken by Cedar Park at 12-13. Let's tell these kids that practice hours and hours and hours to not get excited. Yeah, you know, if the point's down, if the ball's down, you know, you got you got five seconds, and, yeah, yep. right? But they can't come on the court. <laughs> you get a delay of game is what you end up getting. So here's the way it stands right now. Tigers take set number one, and they were slow. Tigers take set number two. After being up 18-12. And they were slow. Tigers drop set number three, and they were slow. And now they're down by a point, and they're still still playing slow. Yeah, looks like we picked the pace up a little bit. Yep, I think the last three points, the, the, the energy has been generated is a whole lot more positive. Let's keep this going. Normally 12-13, four set, not a big deal, but it feels like this serve is huge. Dude, when your season's on the line, it is. Got to get this in. Well done by Carly. A little bit out of system for Cedar Park. Touch off the block, handled yep. by Carly Sledge. Now right in front, to it. Natalie Arnold. Point Tigers. Thirteen all. This ball is going to be handled in system. It's going to go back. Off right. Oh. Ava Williamson stepped in front of Ryan Frontera, who had a beat on the ball. Trust your defense. Yep. <laughs> Timberwolves back to serve. We've executed the last few times to see if we can execute Ball is handled again. in system. Shoot. Mackenzie Plante makes an appearance. 14-14. Probably the best hit she's had. Today. Let's go. <laughs> Natalie Arnold. Back to serve. Good serve. Handled this ball well. is going to have to go to the back Slow. row. Dug up by Ryan Frontera. Ella Baldwin bump set. Oh. oh. This is going to be a free ball. Well played by Plante. Oh, okay. Draw off the block. Yeah. On a weird slide approach by Cedar Park. The ball goes off the block and down point Cedar Park, 15-14. We're not really committing to some of our plays here. We've got to commit oh. to making good plays. That was a good serve by Cedar Park, 16-14. Seventeen. Seventeen, fourteen. Two serves in a row. This ball is in system. Maddie Lund. The middles. Point Tigers. Great set by Ryan. Two great middle sets in a row. Emma Wagner will be coming in. Back in. Crowder with Ryan Allison. I believe Coach was upset at Miss Crowder for not blocking. Just need a change of hands, right? Mm. 
So the down ref has made it very clear all match long that the subs Slow have to wait. Down. And Slow. they all just keep running up here and running in the so court. So excited. And they did not get the Cedar Park subs at all. R1 all over it. All right, here we go. 15-17, Tigers are behind by two points in set number four. Ryan Allison to serve. This ball is, she's a front row setter. Able to attack from there. Handled by Ryan Allison. Taylor Chalman's gonna bump set to Mackenzie Plante. He's gonna roll shot it. It's gonna be handled, it's gotta go back row. Big we swing. cannot dig the back row all of a sudden. That was well struck, though, I'm going to tell you. We, we don't block. Coach King does not like blocking back row attacks. 18-7, R2 is looking at the buck, trying to figure something out on the Cedar Park. Crucial point in the match for the Tigers right here. 19-15 is really not great. 18-16 is better, but still not great. Sort it out, here we go. Timberwolves back to serve. In system. Back to Mackenzie Plante. Blocked. Handled. Everybody standing around watching the ball. 19-15. Second time out taken by Michael Kane. This one's going to five. Um, we look horrible sometimes. No, we haven't. I mean, some people are playing really great, but not everybody's playing great. we got to pick it up here. Coach Kane is not as animated as normal. Looks like he's just talking to the girls. Cedar Park fans are just riled up. All the energy is going the way of Cedar Park. If we go to a fifth set, it will be to 15 points. It'll be 15 points. There will be no side change. The captains will come back over. I don't think, if I was Marble Falls, I wouldn't want them banging that flag on my gym floor. Break the seal on it. Yep. All the momentum going the way of Cedar Park right now. Timberwolves to serve. This ball is in system back to Mackenzie Plante who's gonna tip the ball. It's gonna be a net. Mackenzie Plante in the net. Kenzie's face says it all. She was in the net. Tight set. Not much she could do with it. She 20 to it 15. Top, but down low, got into the net. I don't know what the set was anyway. This ball is in system. It's going to go to, again, it's touch off the block. But the ball was down. Yep. Twenty to 16. Cedar Park leads in set number four. Mackenzie Plante is serving. Mackenzie Plante. Taking her time, focusing. This ball Good is going to be going to have to be go back row. Got a chance for a point here. You know what? It's the first time I've seen Cedar Park make that mistake. They've been diving all over. That's the first time the ball's hit the floor without somebody giving 100% effort. Plante back to serve. Same line. Ooh. Good heads up play by Maddie Lund. Roll, Emma Wagner watching it. Riley Certain, freshman, coming in. Riley's 
heart's probably beating a million miles a second right now. <laughs> check, check the monitor. Out! Oh. Oh, geez. Ball struck. Let's get a big block. Guys, we're going to set number five. I hate to tell you this. 22-15. Spall's handled in system. Maddie Lund. There's a double block waiting. It's going to go to the right side. Tipped. Handled. Outside to Carly Sledge. Off the block. Handled. Outside. Riley Certain tipping to nobody. And that will be a point. That's a great play. That's a good spot. Nobody's there. Carly Sledge came all the way in for a short tip. And they had great visual acuity and just tipped to the hole. That was smart by Carly Sledge. Carly Little Sledge. roll shot down the line. Take him out of system with their feet. Put a decent move on it. I believe it's Riley's serve. Nope, Chomlin. So Taylor Chomlin back to serve. We have a front row of Riley Certain, Natalie Arnold, and Carly Sledge. Ryan Allison is the setter. Mackenzie Plante is middle back. This ball is going to be... That's going to be a back row block. The setter is back row. 19 serving 23. Timeout, Cedar Park. She doesn't like momentum shifts, right? Nope. She she wants this to cut that off. Probably a good time to do that. Probably a good time to do this. This is a three and one right now. So we have to serve, <laughs> we gotta serve, score three points at least for every single time we touch, uh, we touch the ball. I, I am, here's what I'm gonna say. The way that we have played the past several weeks which has not been dominating this seems to me like the team we saw against alamo heights we haven't played well since we beat canyon at home like that was yep no i would uh, agree with that that we did that that was a goal a huge game and we haven't gotten that level of play back yep. yet Nineteen twenty-three, Chomlin to serve, handled by Riley Certain. It's going to go out to Carly Sledge. He's going to tip the ball right again down the line. Point Tigers, twenty to twenty-three. Taylor Chomlin back to serve. Only easy day was yesterday. <laughs> Another good serve. This ball is going to be out of system. system. It's going to have to be a high roll. Dug up by Mackenzie Plante. Outside to Carly Sledge. Roll shot handled. Too much of a roll. Outside. Ball was in. Ball was in. It may have been out, but it's called in. It doesn't matter now. Set point number one. For Cedar Park. Kelly Kruger serving. This ball's in system. Natalie Arnold. Ball is in. Point Tigers. We got subs coming. It's 21 24. Ryan Frontera back to serve. Front row, Ava Williamson, Carly Sledge, Natalie Arnold. Ball's in. It is in system. It is going out to the pin. Touch oh off God. the block, and that's set number four to Cedar Park. 2-2. Two, two. We're going to set number five. Captains.
All right, Tiger fans, it's gut check time. It is set number five. Dripping well, Springs versus Cedar Park. The hardest thing to do right now is to not play, not to lose. Yes. You gotta play to win. It doesn't matter how great a kill you have, it, it's only one point. You're just, you just gotta play to win. You can't be scared. Here we go. Set number five. It is a match to 15 points only, friends. 15 points, there is no side change. Dripping Springs has Ryan Frontera, who will be serving as the setter. Mackenzie Plante will be middle back. Natalie Arnold will be middle front. Carly Sledge on the outside with Ava Williamson on the right side. And Taylor Tomlin is libero coming in for Maddie Lund. The hardest thing to do also right now is to just focus on this and don't worry about we were supposed to win or we're the higher rated team in the playoffs at survive and advance. That's all you gotta do, survive and advance. There's not a lot of difference between, in these two districts, between C2 and C3, they're so interchangeable. And the road for all these teams gets so much easier after this. Yep. All until, the way to the finals. Until they meet again in the, possibly yep. in the finals. I don't know. Everything on the line right here. Ryan Frontera gonna start off set five. Ryan Frontera, let's go. Up. Oh. Got a what? little problem here. The official is wanting the down official to go manage. Don't bang the flag on the ground. Don't bang the flag on the ground. Make sure the small child does not run on the court. Oh, and, and the dad's over there banging his foot as if that's... All right. Okay, here Upper we go. Upper signaled. Here we go. Ryan do. Frontera, back to serve. Know your job, do your job, folks. This ball is All in system. Do. It's going outside. Block! Big block. Down! Point Tigers. Big block. Ryan Frontera, back to serve. I'm surprised we haven't gotten mo more of those nice high lobs out wide like that. This ball is in system. It's going to go outside again. Off to McKenzie Plante digs it up to Natalie Arnold. Off the hands of the block. It's going to be bump set to back to the outside. Block down through the block. Through the block. Point Timberwolves. 1-1. One, one. Subs coming for the Timberwolves. So frustrating. The block was there. And they just squeezed it through. Why are we blocking on our side of the net? I don't know. Timberwolves back to serve. Good serve. Handled by McKenzie Plante. He's going to have to jump for it. Blocked. Handled. Ryan Frontera running. Carly Sledge swinging. This is ball going to be back in system. It's going to go to the pin. Handled by Ryan Frontera. Ava Williamson swinging. It's going to go back outside. Touch off, off the, the block. block again. Good point. Could have been Drip's point. Ended up. Going to Second Park. swing opportunities. Timberwolves lead 2 1. We're going to move our that, stack over. That's some better ups off good plays by Cedar Park than we've seen. Deep serve, effective. Now the honor going deep corner. Happy birthday, hip opportunity. This ball is going to be handled outside of the antenna. Point Tigers. Woo. Carly Sledge, back to serve. I'm not sure anybody knew exactly what happened there. Well, the ball hit either the net or the antenna, but it landed in bounds, so yeah. it doesn't really matter. She was looking two, for two. some help. Carly Sledge to serve. This ball is an ace oh, for Carly Sledge. There's number six again for Point Cedar, Tigers. Cedar Park. Last time we got two points off of her, but then she started passing well. This like ball is going to be in system. Well it's back. Blo off, off the block. The off the hands of McKenzie Plante. 3-3. Three, three. Subs. Ref says wait. 
Ella Baldwin is in for the Tigers. 3-3, reminder folks, going to 15, set five. Timberwolves back to serve. Handled, running, cut shot, handled. Going outside, roll shot, handled, out, free ball. In system, off the block. Ryan Frontera, Natalie Arnold. Well played. Net violation by ball Timberwolves, ball Point Tigers. Down anyway. I hope she gets the kill because that ball went down anyway. Tiger serve. This ball is in system. It's going to go back row. Oh, running, running, digging. Mackenzie Plante. Deep. Deep Good ball. Job giving themselves a chance. It's going to be blocked yeah. by Mackenzie Plante. Point Tigers. That fired up the crowd. There's your coach with a pretty quick timeout trying to keep the momentum down. You know, that is a great play by Natalie Arnold chasing that ball down. Mackenzie Plante showing her captain skills. My ball, I'm putting it over. High, deep, High, allow the deep. defense to reset. Yes. And then we get the block. And a nice block kill by the Tigers. My mouth is dry. And my mouth is dry too. And there's no more water. <laughs> Here we go, not a folks. familiar position for the Tigers it, the last 10 years. It has not been, not in, not in, <laughs> not in number one. Coach Kane keeps doing his hands down, like calm down girls, focus. Yep. Don't get excited. As you told me before, know your job, do your job. Yep, Bill right Belichick. Now, now, Natalie Arnold is serving. Her job is to get this in where Coach Kane has called it. This ball is out of well system. Done. It's just going to be a, a, a roll shot handled. Ella Baldwin bump set to Ava Williamson, who's just going to swing handled. It's going to go outside off the hands of Ryan Frontera. We cannot get the ball up. Point Timberwolves. Subs coming. That's. We should have had that point. I feel like our block is early. Yeah. And they're smart. They're, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Ball's handled in system. That ball's off the block. Point Tigers. Subs coming. Maddie Lund. I haven't seen her swing that hard in a while. Wait. Tripping Springs with the delay call. Yep, we get Kevin a delay of game yellow call. It. Well, I hope he, I hope he calls it fair. Yep. What's if we get another delay? What does that mean? We can, it'll be a penalty. A point? Yeah. No, no points. A, a red card just means the coach has to sit down. Oh, okay. So in the game, Riley Certain, Maddie Lund. Mackenzie Plante, Ryan Allison back to serve. 6-4 drip. Serve well. And that ball was out, barely out. 6-5. They got Riley Certain stacked on the outside. Mackenzie Plante will swing from the right side. So be in system. It's gonna go out right side. It's gonna be touched, handled. It's gonna go to the outside. Again. Point Timberwolves. Timberwolves have hit line well tonight. They set her about four feet off the net. They don't set her tight and she just jumps and swings. Yep, and line most of the time. Good spot. That ball be handled by the, the Timberwolves off the block. Point Tigers. Tigers take a 7-6 lead. 
Mackenzie Plante back to serve. Carly Sledge in as the outside hitter. This ball's handled in system. It's going to go right side. Dug up by Riley Certain is going to handle it. Mackenzie Plante with the roll shot. In system. Oh, handled. It's going to go right side. It's going to be touched off the block again. Handled. Swing, swing. It's going to be handled again. We're going right side. Handled. Off the block. block. Handled. Great point. Roll shot. Out of bounds. Point Tigers. Great point. Both teams giving all they got. Tigers put them in an uncomfortable position and got the point. Kinsey Plante back to serve. This ball is in system. It's tipped, rolled. Point Timberwolves. Did we block that? It blocked and then it went off Riley's hand backwards. Yeah, I saw that off Riley's hand, but I couldn't. Timberwolves back to serve. In system, back to Riley Certain, out of bounds. Scores tied, 8-8. Eight, eight. In system, out to Carly Sledge, blocked out of bounds, Point Tigers. Middle's coming. Taylor Chomlin back to serve. This ball is, right. oh! Tigers with a tough point. Oh, there's that momentum timeout. Setter tried to take advantage and could not handle the ball. Point Tigers. I have dry mouth like I've never had dry mouth before. Fantastic, fantastic. <sighs> So again, it's the fifth set. We only go to 15. Season's on the line for both teams. Not the cleanest match ever, but what a it's, great battle. It's not, a, it's not clean. I will say Cedar Park has probably played a little bit cleaner. We've been very messy. And we're just battling, trying to find that rhythm. Now it's just point for point, all the way to the end. It's gut check time. Taylor Tomlin back to serve. The down official gives the court back. Referee beckons serve. The ball is going to have to go out of system. It's going to have to be a roll shot, cut shot, handled by Taylor Tomlin. It's going to go out to Carly Sledge. It's going to be handled off the block. Carly so. Carly didn't know where she was. Carly did a great job of trusting her teammate, Taylor Passed it, but we couldn't get the Carly swing. Cedar Park back. back to serve. We got a timeout taken by Dripping Springs. I do not remember a first round by district game ever going to five like this. Not in the not in the past decade. I'm trying to think back to my daughter who played. Maybe a not junior. since. We. I feel like we just kind of rolled until that third or fourth round. Mm. But it wasn't this district that we were. No, we were. We were in this district. Her senior or junior year, Cedar Park was in our district, so we didn't play them again until the third round. Yeah. So here we go, Cedar Park will be serving. Cedar Park has used both of its timeout. Tigers have used one timeout. Here we go. Serve is coming. To nine Tigers, big point here. 
Kelly Kruger serving for the Cedar Park. This ball Balls is in, in system to Natalie Arnold, and that is a point for the Tigers. Fast. Subs coming. I'd like to see us do that three more times. Yes, four more times. <laughs> 15. Ryan, Ryan Frontera back. back to serve. Frontera Natalie Arnold, Ava Williamson, Carly Sledge. Coach Kane just pleading with his girls to stay focused. This ball is handled in system. It's going outside. to the outside. Off the block, off the block, Ryan Frontera, Ava Williamson in Great system. Play by Frontera. Off the block, handled by Carly Sledge. Ryan Frontera chasing it down. Mackenzie Plante handled. Back row attack handled by Cedar Park. Out, handled. Ryan Frontera digs it one hand. Taps in the middle, over. Ryan Frontera. Taylor Chomlin to Ava Williamson. Off the block. Cedar Park. It's going to go row. back row. Handled. Sort of. Tight. Out. Point Tigers. Wow. Ryan Frontero with Great a dig, dig. like dig in the first, nothing. In the first row of the stands, Frontera off the block with a great dig. Cedar Ryan Park Frontera coach. back to serve. This is where she's out of timeouts, where I don't agree with her quick timeouts. This ball is in system. It's going to go outside. Time. No, in the bottom of the net. Point Tigers. She doesn't have the timeouts. Burned them. Ryan Frontera Tried. back to serve. She's pleading with her team to settle down. Looks like we'll be serving six right here. It's no in system. Middle out. Match point. No touch. Ripping screen. No touch. Match point number one, Tigers. This is where get the ball in. Ryan Frontera. Serving, match point number one. Big breath for Deep Katera. Breath. Well executed. Yeah. Side into the yes. Tigers win. Tigers win. <laughs> on a Jesus. Roll. Holy a late, cow, friends. A late, late, late four point run. I'm gonna to let you. Away. I'm gonna let you wrap it up. Yep. I will wrap it up. Tigers advance. Great five set match. Great effort from Cedar Park. Better effort from the Tigers, especially there in set five where they just took over at 9-9. Nine, nine. Frontera on another four point, four point run to end the match. She had a couple. Beauty of sports, agony for Cedar Park and euphoria for Dripping Springs, surviving and advancing. Thank you.